Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And today I'm going to show you how to create this banger bullet flying effect for your music video. This effect was firstly done in Slum 6 music video called Pocket Chains. They really killed it in that video, so I'm just recreating that effect in my way. Before getting to the video, I just like to make a little announcement that I launched my new pack, which is Ultimate Grunge Bundle, comes with two packs and bundle in one. And these bridges allows you to add those grungy aesthetics to your music video like you see everyone doing it now i'll leave this in the description and just for you guys the bundle is on sale for now it can end anytime you're getting 27 dollar off on the bundle so hurry up and grab it right now let's get back into the video so anyways i have this comp with this rock clip that i grabbed from their music video of course so to create those effect i got this overlay like a bullet flying overlay you can see i downloaded some bullet flying overlay from footage grid and turn it into this so i'll leave this in the description and i have another overlay which is the spark one i grabbed this from footage grid so i'll link this in the description too so first let's just start by dragging the bullet overlay first like that and then toggle switches and modes and set the blending mode to color dodge or screen whatever you like so after that you can see the bullet is flying through our footage already but as always you can just scale it up like rotate it and play with all those good stuff like here let's just put it right here first oh uh, nah i want the end to match here and when you're lining up there make sure when it cuts off right here you have to match it with the wall or something you want the bullet to hit on mine is wall so it just right ends in the wall but i'm gonna just duplicate it add a bunch of those like rotate this and put it right here uh, like that that looks pretty cool right there and i'm going to duplicate another one rotate it again place it right all about here you can make it a bit fast too and i'm going to duplicate it again and place it somewhere around here after that i will have this bullet flying effect as you can see we are all done with the bullets now now we're going to start adding spikes before that just to be organized i'm going to i'm going to select all of my bullets overlay for sure not the real bullets but and just change the level to like blue is it just to be organized you don't really have to do this but anyways let's just drag our and as you can see it is on our scene i'm gonna label it red now so it's red like that so we're gonna add the spark right away the bullets ends so let's just go over to our first bullet and it and we're gonna place that spark right there like that you can see it's pretty simple it looks pretty cool already one more thing you can also do is turn on 3d on that layer and hit r to bring up the rotation and rotate it in 3d space so it looks a bit realistic according to your wall or anything you want to hit on so kind of like tilt it in that way so that's why you can also like go in and 3d track your footage and do it all that way but it's kind of complex i'm just breaking it down simply for you guys for now let's just duplicate it again and put it at our another the spark which is which is here let's just put it in here oh let's just make it like there another one right right around here after that your effect looks something like this your effect is pretty much done but we can still add on this and spice it up so i'm gonna show you how to do that too so the first thing we're gonna do is add depth into this effect so to do that we're gonna rotoscope first so let's just duplicate our clip the main clip for sure not all those overlays and set our resolution to full and grab our roto brush tool for now and start rotoscoping out our subject if you don't know how to rotoscope i'll leave a tutorial down below it's pretty simple too so you can check that out and after you're done rotoscoping you will just freeze it i just done a rough rotoscope for now just to show you guys but if you're working with like a big client you can just and do it carefully anyways let's just go into our composition panel and you can see here our clip is rotoscope now so the way we're gonna add depth is as you can see the bullets are flying over our subject but to add that depth you can just take these bullets you can just take this bullets overlay as you can see 
thingy and put it below your rotoscope layer so it like goes behind your character or subject as you can see it goes behind him which i think it looks pretty cool and make it look much more realistic so i'm gonna do it one more time right here let's just put it behind him and put it below a bit as you can see that instantly add more depth into our scene so another thing you can add like a adjustment layer and add exposure in it and just hit the stopwatch in there and let's just drag it around and right where it hits you can add like a flash a real quick flash right here oh too bright like that you can just copy it and paste it in all of those hits uh, like here like that and last one here right here so another thing i'm gonna do is add some shakes so i'm gonna add a motion tile first 200 by 200 and put it before your exposure and to add that shake i'm gonna use sapphire for sure let's just use sapphire shake for now i also have a shake pack but it was actually made for those 808 hits but i don't know if it works on this but you can try it if you want but let's just keep him the shake as we do did with the flashes so and that thing alone adds a lot of energy into our footage and you can also add some deep glow into your bullets layer so let's just add deep glow and required for text lower down the amount like that but one thing i noticed is the color of our bullet and the spark is different so i'm gonna add like a color bands hls and make it something like orange then you can just copy the deep glow and hls and paste it into other layers like this paste it in there paste it in there paste it in there and another thing i'm gonna do is add like a curves and add a simple color grade like a s curve just to blend all in and you can add like a flicker too like a subtle flicker then if you have my preset pack you can add like an adjustment layer and play with my preset these presets are really cool it is from grunge fx i'm using the grunge fx one ultimate grunge brunzen if you don't know i just launched this pack and i really loved it as you can see it gives different looks according to your liking so you can play around with the presets and stuff like if i had like black and white glow you can see it looks totally different and gives that opinion feel at all you can also go with this look if you want but for now let's just keep it simple and this is my final result so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more videos like this then you can check out my effects and preset in my website asimnawak.com i'll leave it down below in there i have my sick pack the grunge fx for sure and my title pack which is insane for real so i'll leave that down below lastly you can also follow me on instagram so see you in the next video peace